Hi Tim, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Microsoft Fabric Master Program. So in today's session, we will be discussing about keywords uh, we are going to discuss for the Microsoft Fabric. Let's say if you are from uh, non-data engineering uh, domain or if you are from non-IT or whatever it is, in order to get started with Microsoft Fabric, some of the keywords you need to know. Without knowing these keywords, if you directly try to understand what is Microsoft Fabric, you will understand but you will not know what is the actual capabilities of the Microsoft Fabric, okay? Let's get started. So the keywords, first one is the date fabric we can able to use to do the business intelligence reporting okay business intelligence we can able to do with the help of the fabric what is this bi right so it basically focus on generating the reports based on the historical data to determine what has happened in the past and present let's say from the flip card you are placing a orders and a lot of data flipkart team and amazon team or if it is a financial domain there are different uh, banks will collect the financial data like that for every domain in the retail domain we have flipkart and amazon in the financial domain we have different banks loans data different data will be there similarly in the travel domain we have a make my trip so different applications which basically uh, get the data and store it in the back end so there is a lot of data you collected since last three years or five years of data you want to understand how was your business is doing since last five years what has happened in the past what is happening in the present okay so my growth is uh, like uh, continuously there is a growth since last five years but if you look at this year there is a constant value it is not growing but it is going with the same value whatever is there in the last year so you can able to understand why this is happening why my business is not growing you can take uh, some decisions based on that particular reporting right so such kind of reporting analysis you can able to do with the microsoft fabric so this ba basically deals with the descriptive analysis which means it provides insight into what has happened so why like the sales are uh, constantly moving why it is not growing right so you want to understand what has happened what happened in the past what is happening in the present you want to know and if something is not doing well if a particular product category is not doing well one of the sector in a business is not doing well you can just take a decisions to improve that particular product category or that particular sector of the business right so to understand what has happened what is happening we are going to create a business intelligence how we will know we need to read all the historical data we need to understand how we are growing from last five years what is the growth by year by year what is the growth by month by month what is the growth by day by day like that you are going to understand all the analysis you will do and create reports to understand what you are doing how you are doing in your business next it helps in tracking business performance that's what i told right basically ba will help you to track your business performance how you are performing in your business and it identify areas of improvement like where exactly you need to improve it will help you to take a good decisions where and all you are lagging where you need a improvement where you are doing great so where you are not doing well where you are going with the same values so everything it will help you to identify so that wherever you have you are not doing well you can able to improve it and supporting strategic decision making let's say if something is not doing well what are the other things that we can able to do so what is it something application we need to have a more user interface uh, like a more user friendly or uh, what where exactly the business is struggling so you can take some decisions to correct those things to improve your overall business that is what business intelligence so the summary of the business intelligence is it is focused on our historical data meaning last five years or 10 years or last three years of data it is all depends on the clients business to business things will change but basically we analyze all our historical data to understand how our business is performing where we require improvement so what all decisions we need to take in order to improve the business right so there is a uh, collective decision making so they will do with the help of the higher boards and they go forward to improve their business that is what we focused on the ba to do all these things our fabric will help us to do all this next data science so what is data science you know nowadays it is very 
very very popular data science right it is focused on generating insights out of data to anticipate future opportunities so in ba you understood what has happened what is happening currently but let's say everybody want to know future let's say if you are thinking if i learn a fabric what is my career in next 5 years 10 years 15 years right similarly every business will think about if i am doing this okay so how i am doing what i need to do in next 5 years to do very well in the business to do a more than what their competitors are doing right to do that particular analysis what what is going to happen in the future how our business opportunities in the future to understand that we need a data science what data science does is basically one example i'll give you let's say you want you are going for a loan right so what bank how bank will decide how much loan that they can able to grant it to you is based on the certain parameters whether what is your current salary okay what is the take home by month right and what all the properties that you have is it your own business or you are salaried employee is it you are you married in which city you are staying so lot of details they will take and from the historical data they will understand person who is having the 10 lakhs salary and uh, who is basically salaried and he is a married how much loan we have granted earlier what is the probability of refunding that meaning people some people may not make the payment because of their family condition they lost the job many other reasons now what data science does is based on the historical understanding right so based on the historical data it can able to take a future a hey, these kind of people i just analyzed in the past last 5 years from that what i learned is this person is probably may make the payment completely so you can just go ahead and make a uh, loan sanction for about uh, 8 lakhs or 10 lakhs so there is a decisions mission can able to tell those kind of a future opportunities so what is the future of my business so what will happen in the future everything we can able to know in the data science it basically deals with the predictive predictive means we are going to analyze something what is going to happen in the future okay prescriptive analysis which means it provides insights into what will happen in the future it will tell us what will happen in the future that is what i explained next it concentrates on generating insights predictions recommendations for complex business problems let's say nowadays you are going for the a uh, lot of things right so whenever you are purchasing some items so basically we can able to recommend some kind of a uh items to the customer because whoever purchased item a so the probably they are interested to purchase item b also maybe they are not aware so you will know okay these kind of recommendations that i can able to do for the people right so these kind of future opportunities what will happen in the future for your business everything also you will come to know using the machine learning models so this kind of things also you can do within the microsoft fabric the third and very important or you can say final one is real time analytics which is one of the very very important things so for our business some of the businesses require the real time data analysis business intelligence means you can have a batch data or real time data doesn't matter data science also batch data real time data doesn't matter but real time analytics which required a live data as soon as data comes we need to process it why we need to process it let's say Uh, there is a fraud happened so somebody has uh, hacked my account and they have extracted a 10 lakhs there is a sudden transaction of 10 lakhs happened through my account those are called a suspected transactions we need to process the data in the financial domain we need to process the financial data continuously to understand is it a suspected transaction is it a, a proper transaction not only uh, the fraud reduction right you also wanted to do some kind of uh, what i can say is we wanted to do uh, like uh, recommendation systems right recommendation systems means as i mentioned so on the real time so what all uh, customer is clicking what all customer is purchasing based on the real time data you need to immediately recommend a, uh, another products so you need to say that hey you searched for this product are you still looking for this particular product you if you purchase this there is a discount if you purchase this this item is free if you purchase this other people also purchased uh, other items along with this item so there is a recommendation systems so fraud detection 
So for all these things, real-time anal analytics is important. What is real-time analytics? It is the practice of analyzing data as it generated or received. So as soon as data is uh, arrived, we need to analyze that particular data. Okay, as as soon as it is generated or received, we need to analyze this particular data to get the what is happening in real time with the minimal latency. You can say minimal latency means with the less time or you can say as soon as data comes without no delay right so for example in the stocks if you see stocks right continuously it will go up and down that is the real time data so how the stocks price is up and down how it is going up and down we will be able to see in the real time analytics so whenever you feel that this is the highest low uh, this is the lowest uh, than ever so i can just invest here so that my stock will go up you can just in real time you can monitor and you can invest it okay so this real time analytics often involves processing streaming data from sources like sensors let's say you are traveling over a flight so there need to be a continuous um, communication from our flight to understand how was our like uh, weather condition there sometimes you will see flight is emergency landing why there is a continuous tracking of the weather whenever weather is not supporting they feel they will do a emergency landing right sensors social media feeds let's say somebody has posted something which creates a violence then the social media should be immediately has to process this kind of data in real time to understand is it uh, something triggering violence right so some kind of uh, real time is required in order to avoid some disturbance in the society similarly financial transaction if you are not processing the financial transaction in real time what happens some fraud happens you will not know after few days if you know will not be able to take much of the decision because let's say if somebody has hacked your uh, amount and by that time they will consume it as well right so you will not be able to get it it is very difficult if you delay in such kind of incident so that's why real time analytics is something very important next it enables business to respond promptly to changing conditions detect anomalies and take a instant actions it takes the immediate actions to prevent such type of fraud uh, in the financial and if at all any communication issues we have you we know right so many times we are hearing there is a communication lost for example in chandrayaan 2 also we lost the communication uh, so which basically uh, leads to the chandrayaan 3 which is uh, like we succeeded but uh, we had a failure just because of the communication issue why communication is failed so there is a uh, time like what happened in chandrayaan 2 i hope everybody ever right so what they are doing is they are controlling all the things from the ground so by the time they send a uh, signal to the, uh, the device so it is taking it there is a delay of two seconds so within this delay what happened is it is not able to get the required input and it is just taking its own decision and that's where we lost the communication so that's where in chandrayaan 3 what happened is there is a completely automation so all the commands all the uh, things that needs to be done is automated there is algorithm which is basically sending the uh, inputs automatically it will uh, successfully landed on the moon right in the chandrayaan 2 there is a ground to uh, sky signal right so there is a device is controlled from the uh, ground which takes there is a delay which is basically caused of the communication issue uh, which uh, completely we are not able to do anything with the chandrayaan 2 that's where we did the chandrayaan 3 that's why very important in some of the cases processing data in real time okay yeah so basically that's all team okay um so i request all of you to subscribe my channel uh, so you will see a lot more the fabric videos going forward so i'll be completely making uh, complete microsoft fabric master program uh, in and out we will see i request all of you to subscribe to get all those updates thank you